Greg Riley joins us mm -hmm. this morning with his buddy Pagan, who's so cute. I just love him. He's going to have to be wearing a shirt this weekend from the uh, cooler temperatures I outside. I know, he is. And we're here today to talk about heartworm because you said right. you're seeing more cases of it right now. Uh, a little bit. Maybe normal. A little bit. Um, and basically, uh, now there's going to be a lot of people that are going to be out there like, well, you've already done the heartworm topic before. Yeah. But uh, right around this time of the year, it's a good idea to start thinking about putting your dog on heartworm preventive or having your dog tested for heartworms. Okay. So basically, a really quick recap of what heartworms are is that basically they are worms that reside in your dog's heart and they're caused by mosquitoes. Mm. So it's really simple. So let's say that Pagan is heartworm infested. Some of the signs that he'll be having is say he would be uh, lethargic, he'd be losing weight, he'd be coughing a lot, sometimes having vomiting, uh, not really wanting to eat. Uh, and what will happen is that you'll have a mosquito that'll fly around and will bite Pagan. And when he's injecting that little anesthetic mm -hmm. that you know we've all had before, right. the heartworms are transmitted and escape from the mosquito inside to the dog. Okay. Okay. So when that happens, the mosquito will fly around to an uninfected dog and will bite that dog once it gets hungry. And when it's doing that, the mosquito, uh, the heartworms will leave the mosquito inside the unaffected dog. And that's how the whole cycle more gotcha. or less goes again. So the big thing right now is that the reason why I'm talking about this so much is that the cure for heartworms is very difficult to get to right now. It's called a minocide. It's made by Mariel, which is a company out of France. Okay. And right now, it's very difficult to get it in the U.S. market. So you basically almost have to order it from overseas. So it may be a little bit of a delay, which can cause some problems with your dog in the future. Why is it, do you know why it's it's taking a while right now? Something about with the FDA. I mean, okay. it's really not really a whole lot of information of why these plants in the United States were closed down. Okay. Uh, the other big preventive is Interceptor. Uh, which is made by Merck, and that's also been taken off the market too. So what can we, what can we do to help prevent and mm -hmm. besides giving them these medicines? Right. Uh, there's another product out there that's called HeartGuard. A lot of people are familiar with that, yeah. which is really good. Yeah. The big one right now that everyone is on everyone's lips is something called Trifexis, because okay. it takes care of worms, it takes care of heartworms, and it also takes care of fleas. So it's really easy and a lot of people think, wow, this is really great. But if you listen to what I just said, what it does not take care of, it doesn't do anything for ticks. Uh, and I have heard from several people um, in our newsroom that ticks are already bad this right. year. Basically because the weather has been so mild. Mm -hmm. And if you live out in the country, then you know it's really easy. If you have the dogs going out in the woods or so forth, they're going to come back with ticks. The biggest thing that you're going to be worrying about ticks is, say, Lyme disease, yep. which is really prevalent over in Illinois, over in the eastern mm -hmm. part of the state, and eventually it'll be working its way across you know, the river over here. Okay. So those are some of the things that you may want to take in consideration. So I probably would advise, say, do a regular flea and tick ointment in conjunction with, say, HeartGuard um, or Iverheart along those lines to keep your dog all the way around protected. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Greg, and thank you, Pagan. He's just an active little guy this morning. He's pretty hyper, yeah. He is. He's an active little guy. Well, as we take it a break, let's take a look at how you can get a hold of Greg Riley if you have any questions about heartworms or anything else. Also, check out his Facebook page at Greg the Pet Guy. He always has really cool stuff on there, so you definitely want to check that out on Facebook. You're watching News 10 this morning on WTHI. We'll be right back.